How much you bench? I'd like to be more specific. How much do you flat bench? How much do you close grip bench? How much do you wide grip bench? How much do you incline bench? And how much do you guillotine bench? Guillotine bench. Guillotine. We're gonna know that. This is my top five barbell movements for the massive, muscular, shredded, amazing chest you've always wanted. Now, one thing I wanna focus on is form, and we're gonna really delve into that on the first one, which is gonna be the standard bench press. Not close, not wide, standard bench press. So we're gonna lay down here. Now, we're not power lifters, so we're not gonna try and take our chest out of the movement. Power lifters do, they try to lessen the distance of the bar to your chest. Basically, from here to here, they want as little distance as possible. What that does, it recruits more laps, gives you more quad drive. I still want you to have quad drive. That's why I want you to have arch in your back. Your butt's touching and your um, shoulder blades are touching. Shoulder blades are retracted, meaning you're squeezing them together. As for grip, a couple ways. One is just do a V with your arms and come down. Another is go where you're comfortable, slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Feet, flat on the floor or it can be on your toes. Personally, the easier way to, per, to teach it flat on the floor. Lock in. As you're lifting, I want you to bend the bar with your pinky. Try and push it in. Try and push it this way. That brings your elbows in. Elbows stay in less chance of injury, less chance of a tear or a strain in that bicep tendon that is right here between your chest and your shoulder. When you come in, legs are tight. Tighten from the ground up. Tight legs. Glutes tight, tighten your butt. Shoulders retracted, shoulder blades retracted. Head on the bench, up. Come down slow. Come down slow and pause. Notice my elbows are staying in. Bending the bar, boom. One more, and eight. Notice, as I'm going up, there's very ever so slight, I'm not pushing down, I'm pushing where the bar is coming up at a slight angle towards my face. Now we're not going way up, just slight. So you're pushing, because you're coming down with your elbows in. So when you push, naturally you're gonna do this. That's also gonna recruit more lat, which will lead to more force. So the flat bench, make sure you're warmed up. Don't start with your heavier set. What I would do is anywhere between three and whatever you can accommodate sets. Now as for reps, that's what you're going for, for hypertrophy, I like to stay anywhere between six and 15 reps. Close grip bench press. Now this can be thrown in on arm day or at the end of chest day. I don't like using this as a prime mover on chest day, but on arm day you can. This can take the reps a little bit higher, 10 to 15 reps. Whatever set you need, three to four are just fine. Same exact setup as the bench, feet on the ground. Again, we're not power lifters. You don't need to do all this crap, okay? Feet on the ground, arch in the back, butt, shoulder blades retracted. Now, when I say close grip, I don't mean this. I mean closer. So for me, it's a little closer than shoulder width. It's right about lined in where the inside of my hands are right now. That makes sense. So I'm gonna come in, set up, lock out, come down. Again, we're not bouncing. Coming down, and 10. All right, so for those, you go higher reps, 10 to 15, and anywhere three to four sets. Prime mover on arm day, not a prime mover on chest day. The pump is getting real, so for a lot of you guys with home gyms, this is perfect. You can literally do these five movements we're gonna show you, and you'll be good. Anyway, right now is a wide grip bench press. That's exactly what it sounds like. A lot of people do a wide grip in their normal bench pressing, you have to be very careful. It puts your shoulder and your chest in a very precarious, awkward position. 
So for that same setup, lay back, wider grip. Now, my regular bench grip is here. When I say wide grip, I don't mean here. Slightly wider. Okay, you're right around here. Again, it's not crazy. Careful, line up. Be sure to bend that bar with your pinkies, guys. Come up. Again, no bouncing, lock out, boom, boom. Make sure not to crush your fingers on the bench. And for those, again, it's like close grip, higher reps, 10 to 15 sets, not 10 to 15 reps. Not a prime mover, around three to four sets. The guillotine press. What's a guillotine, man? You're down, oh, your head gets chopped off. Hopefully you don't do this. That's why I'm gonna recommend you go light on these. Now the guillotine press is a wide grip bench press, except instead of bringing the bar down to your nipple area, you're bringing it to your neck. Now, if you're able to do this correctly, bend the bar, it will isolate your pecs as good or better than any other chest movement on earth. If you do it wrong, you will die. I'm not even playing. You don't wanna drop that shit on your neck. So what I want you to do, same setup as the bench. Okay, come in, got the butt, the legs, scapula retracted, wide grip. Come up. Now I'm gonna come down to my neck and up. Don't come all the way down, the pressure down is up. The pump is just ridiculous. Ah! So, I'm a strong dude. And like Corn Pop, I'm also a bad dude. I'm only doing 135. I'm not going heavier. Start with the bar, work your way up, assess it, and always be cognizant. But if you're looking for one hell, one hell of a nice chest contraction and isolation movement, there it is, the guillotine press. We've done every variation of flat. Now, I will say, other than guillotine, which I, it would probably work for incline, but no, don't. No. Um, you can do close grip, you can do wide grip, you do what I'm gonna do here, which is a standard incline barbell press on the incline. Everything on flat can be done on incline. However, I'm a purist. If you're doing variations of bench, I like to see it done on the flat bench. If you're doing incline bench, shut your mouth and do incline bench. I just, I, I don't know, that's just me, but if you wanna try the other versions on incline, go ahead, so this is the last of our five um, lift series for barbell chest training. Now, I'm gonna explain to you what we did after I'm done my set and explain it. So basically, you don't have to worry about anything. Keep your feet on the ground, tighten your legs, glutes are still tight, shoulders, um, shoulder blades are still retracted, right? Scapula retracted. Get the grip you got on your first normal bench press, wherever your comfort spot is, you know, wherever the G spot is. Head on the bench, come up. Come down to your upper chest, press. So, let's discuss. During the quarantine, a lot of y'all bought home gyms. A lot of y'all stayed in your home gyms. A lot of you guys might know that there might be a second wave, a third wave, and now we know that the government can shut our asses down for no reason at any time they want. Be prepared. All you need, a good setup like this, some weights, and an adjustable bench. And you can do everything you need for at least chest, but I'll show you every other body part too. So check it out. Where do you get these? I'm gonna tell you where I got these. Fitnessfactory.com is where I got the bar and the uh, weights. Fitnessfactory.com, coupon code Mark Lobine. Okay? Super Fitness, Super Training. I'm gonna link them down below. Super Training in Burlington, North Carolina. The man's name is Stephen Harveas. His parents just been neighbor in North Carolina. 
He is now the largest used equipment dealer in the United States. This amazing squat rack I got from him, as well as this bench. I'm gonna link him down below. It's called Super Fitness, Super Training, whatever the hell it's called. It's awesome. He's the best, best prices, best equipment. So bottom line is, you know, what is it you don't prepare to fail? You fail to prepare. Don't ever be caught with your bands down. <laughs> don't ever be caught with your, uh, without gym equipment, right? If you like training, make it a must, prioritize it, budget in around. For this complete setup, you're looking under five Gs. It's a good insurance policy, right? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Mark Lobliner, Twitter at Mark Lobliner, Facebook at Mark Lobliner. Again, be sure to watch the Games Cast. G A I N Z C A S T, the Games Cast on Spotify, YouTube, and everywhere. And of course, this video right here, subscribe to it. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Share it with all your friends. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Mark Lobliner. That's not a game.